Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and you're watching the 2017 International Challenge for February. Uh, currently, right now, we're just starting out the tournament, of course, and uh, to get started, let's go through and look at the actual rules and regulations here of the actual tournament. Uh, so, as you see here, <clears throat> it's actually starting up. Signups were on February 15th to the 23rd. And uh, the count competition actually started the 23rd to the 26th. Now, currently right now, it's the 24th. Um, usually, it always starts on Friday for us here in Canada. Uh, so, let's just go in and look at the actual Global Link uh, information there for the actual rules. Uh, so, this is a double formatted battle, of course. Uh, and currently right now, I'm grouped in with trainers that were born before 2001. So... <laughs> Damn kids are still better than me anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, Pokemon with Mega Stones cannot compete uh, in this uh, competition. It's only available to Pokemon from number one to 301 in the Alola decks. And this is also in regards to Alola form Pokemon. Uh, you can only use the Alola form. So for example, you would have to use Alolan Raichu, not the regular Raichu. Or for example, uh, Alolan Sandslash versus actual Kanto Sandslash. Uh, for eligible Pokemon, you can go through and click there. I think everyone's pretty well familiar with the Alola decks at this time. Uh, Zygarde, Cosmog, Cos... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce this name. Uh, Cosmoium, uh, Solgaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, and uh, Magirna is not available in the tournament. Uh, you're using six Pokemon, but you can only choose four at a time. Uh, the Pokemon will be automatically um, leveled up to 50 for you. Uh, Pokemon that are eligible are Pokemon to those that were caught, uh, hatched from eggs, or received as a mystery gift in Pokemon Sun or Moon. Uh, Pokemon uh, that are used are for Pokemon during the during the actual battle. Uh, number of battles allowed per day are up to 15. And uh, the battle time are 10 minutes. Selection time for each trainer is 90 seconds. Turn time is 45 seconds. Um, basically it's telling you that you can be penalized if you DC Pokemon moves and items if you guys want to just pause here you can go through it there that way um, yeah pretty well that's it just telling you again can't use the mega stones uh, move effects it just basically tells you that nature power will be tri attack secret power will have a 30% chance of afflicting and opposing Pokemon with paralysis and camouflage will change the user's type to normal. The battle, again, just telling you that you could be penalized if you uh, DC and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the actual team that we have here today. Uh, so I actually went through and uh, <clears throat> tried to make a completely different team, although I wanted to bring one of the strategies back from when I did one of the previous tournaments in uh, Oris, of course. So first off, we're gonna go with Gramble. And Gramble is our fairy type Pokemon here, but uh, as you can see, I do have the quick feet, it's jelly and has the toxic orb. So the idea is here is that we're gonna protect and uh, we're gonna get that speed boost in that scenario. Now, the attack power of this thing is 339. So it's gonna be pretty brutal, uh, a little bit flimsy. So that's why I'm gonna pair it up with Celestila. So basically it's going to start off with Gramble and Celestila. Now the idea here is is that Celestila is going to set up a Leech Seed uh, or a Rock Slide to start off with. Uh, while we protect the Gramble, the Gramble then gets um, poisoned because of the Toxic Orb. Uh, and I know some people are probably saying, Cory, why aren't you using the Burn Orb? Um, pretty well, all I had is the Toxic Orb. So we'll go with that. Um, <laughs> so now once we actually get into the battle, uh, Celesteela is going to have the wide guard. So in double battles, we're going to see a lot of guard chomps with rock slide, probably some earthquakes. We're going to use Celesteela to protect our Gramble during the battle. At the same time, we're going to use the rock slide, heavy slam. And uh, I know that you guys are probably wondering why I have a Steelium Z. It's mainly because I didn't have the uh, capability of putting leftovers on anything else. I wanted to make sure that I had leftovers over onto Gastrodon. I know I could have probably gone with a Shell Bell. Uh, however, I don't have a Shell Bell at the moment, so. Uh, Alakazam is our next Pokemon. As you guys always know, I do uh, rely on Alakazam and uh, Gudra quite a bit. 
So this Alakazam here is timid with Magic Guard, Psychium Z, just like the last tournament, Psychic Shadow Ball, Recover, and Focus Blast. Um, Gudra, again, Assault Vest, Sap Sipper. Uh, I did change up my Gudra a little bit, so I invested more in the Special Attack area, more so than the Special Defense. Now Gastrodon, now this is where I'm talking about a previous strategy from one of the past tournaments. I was really successful <clears throat> by using Gastrodon with Storm Drain and pairing it with a physical attacking uh, fire type Pokemon. So I have right now Gastrodon <clears throat> set up as Calm, Storm Drain, Leftovers. And from what I can see, the defense and the special defense are quite helpful, uh, especially if I go with some stockpiles. Now, one of the downsides to Gastrodon this generation is that it doesn't actually have the capability of using, um, what is it called? It's a ground type move, Earth Power. So it doesn't have the capability of Earth Power in this generation. It doesn't learn it, it doesn't get it through breeding. Uh, so pretty well, I just decided to go with Scald and Ice Beam. Um, because in that scenario, we've got other Pokemon that have ground type attacks, so we should be perfectly fine. Um, the idea with this Gastrodon is to basically stockpile and to bring in the Storm Drains from a previous poke. So it's almost like as if we have a Calm Minding Gastrodon, basically. Because it's going to get the Storm Drains, it's going to boost the special attack. At the same time, we have Stockpile. So we're looking at possibly plus three special defense and then we're looking at uh, pretty well whatever we can get in uh, storm drains uh, doing a few test battles some people still don't understand gastrodon which i think is kind of crazy in this generation because of the fact that this is from generation four so i mean this has been around for quite some time um and then we have arcanine now arcanine is uh, jolly and this is pretty well just an all rated attacker so we're just going to go with the flare blitz extreme speed wild charge and close combat um now, of course, uh, the Life Orb and the Intimidate. So the Intimidate is going to cut the pokes. Perfect for when we have Gastrodon, because then they're not going to worry about the defense uh, type situations. Um, and the Life Orb, of course, is going to boost up his attack power. So with his attack power already at 319 at level 100, um, we're probably looking at quite, a, quite an increase in attack power with that Life Orb. So that's the team that I have. Uh, as you can see, I went with a couple of other pokes. Uh, we went with the couple of different grambles uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with adamant or jolly after a couple trials uh, I did go with uh, jolly instead of adamant uh, I believe that is the correct one jolly quick feet toxic orb all right <clears throat> so uh, let's get in here let's go up and set up a battle let's get connected up here now I'm not sure exactly how well this team is actually going to work out it's kind of one of those teams that I wanted to test and try just because of the fact that again I don't want to use like all crazy overpowered pokes uh, that's just not fun to me um, I'd like to use something that's going to be a little bit more difficult to try to uh, get damage off something that's going to be a little bit more <clears throat> real you know what I mean something that's that's not all just like ultra beasts or Garchomps are just, you know, just completely ridiculous overused pokes. Uh, in the in the tournaments, it's it's nice to see something that has some creative types uh, in there, something that's different. So let's go to battle. Uh, I believe it's on the battle spot. So let's jump into battle spot here. And if I'm not mistaken, it's under online competition. <clears throat> All right, participate in a competition. There we go. Now, if you guys see that I'm not, you know, crazy moving my head, I can't move my head very quickly today. I must have pulled a muscle in my neck or something like that the last couple of days, so... <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sit here and record, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, so here we are, team number two. So the Arcanine, Gastrodon, Gudra, Alakazam, Celestila, and Gramble. Okay, so we are going to lock it. I'm not going to worry about it. I, at first, I wasn't sure. Like, I had this team maybe created for, like, a couple days prior to the tournament. Uh, so I was a little bit concerned in regards to um, how the team would actually work out. I just don't know if... Like, I wasn't sure I was going to go with it. But then I decided that... Why not give it a shot? Like, I mean, there's no... There's no issues, right? 
No issues with trying something that's different. Uh, I just realized that I don't have the list up. Wins and loss. There we go. Just one sec. I'm, I'm doing this live, obviously. Nothing is pre-set up. <laughs> All right, there we go. Save. Um, doo -doo -doo. It's almost like as if I'm streaming. Nothing is actually set up properly. Text from file. In the last uh, tournament, I actually had like a list where it actually showed you what the rating was and what the win and loss ratio was. So we're going to do the same thing there again. There we go. All right. <laughs> Let's get started. All right. My team is locked in here. It's going to go through and set up. Let's choose some battle music here for the battle. Let's go with League Title Defense. Currently, right now, we're at a 1500 rating, which is not... Uh, not bad. I think it was really hard to keep that rating the last time, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, there we go. Oh. Just gonna try to make sure that this stays set up differently. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so now we wait for uh, the battles to roll in here. Hopefully we'll actually find some here at some point. I find that battle spot lately, it's really hard to find, like, actual people to battle. <clears throat> I'm not a, I don't mean, like, actual people, but I mean, like, people to fight. Um, alright, so it looks like there is... No water Pokemon here at all. So, there's two fire, a dark, uh, steel and bug, dragon, and grass, and a fairy. So right off the bat, I don't think Gramble and Celesteela are our best bet. I think maybe Gastrodon and Arcanine, Gudra, and Alakazam for this match. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly who he might lead with in that case. Uh, I think we're going to probably see Executor in the battle, and we're most likely going to see Sylveon. So the good thing is, is that I have Gudra, and Gudra, again, has some crazy special defense. Uh, especially with the Assault Vest. So I do have the Sludge Bomb on there. I also have Fire Blast in case we see Scizor. And uh, Dragon Pulse if we see Executor. So I think we're okay with Gudra. Uh, Arcanine should be able to take on uh, at least two, maybe three of those pokes. So we should be okay. Again, we'll give it a shot, see what actually turns out. Um, and then we'll alternate back and forth depending on the actual matches uh, that we have for the teams. Executor and Incineroar. Not a bad choice. Uh, we are going to want to go ahead and attack that Executor as soon as possible. So the good thing is, is that we have the uh, Arcanine and of course we get the Intimidate off. So those are two physical attackers, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least I hope they're two physical attackers. Uh, I'm going to go for the Scald onto the Incineroar. Now Now that I think about it, I probably should have had Muddy Water onto Gastrodon. But... Okay, let's go for the Flare Blitz onto the Executor and the uh, Scald onto the Incineroar. I'm hoping this is going to do some damage. It doesn't take out the Executor, I'm afraid. Uh, but we did get some decent amount of damage off onto it. However, it looks like it might have... Uh, a citrus berry here, so he's going to regain some of his health. And Incineroar is just going to go for the Earthquake here. Now it's going to hit like all Pokemon on the field. I'm not really sure what he's thinking because Executor, of course, uh, was damaged. A decent hit onto the Incineroar. Ooh, Trick Room. Oh, Gastrodon is going to be able to attack quick. That's good. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, citrus berry. Oh, it's got harvest. Now, who's going to be able to attack first? 
I think I'm gonna have to go with the Ice Beam to the Executor. I probably should have done that first. And let's go for the close combat onto the Incineroar. Yeah. That should be super effective onto Executor. Perfect, We're, we got it taken out, that's great. Um, okay. I would have probably gone towards the Gastrodon, to be honest with you. Might, might have been a little bit more beneficial. Because, I mean, you're definitely... I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I would have thought Arcanine would have been smarter to get rid of, but that's just me. Ah, beware. <laughs> okay, let's get Incineroar out of here. And we're gonna go for... Dragon Pulse to the Beware, I think. I think that's fighting and normal, I think. <laughs> I'm definitely not taking a Gudra. Okay. Totally took a Gudra. I'm hoping that the Trick Room disappears here soon. Because all I have left is Alakazam. Uh, trick Room is still up. Um, let's go for the Scald on to... Hmm. Okay, let's take out the Incineroar. We definitely need to do that. Um, Psychic on to the Beware. But I think the Beware is going to be able to attack first, so I don't... I don't, I don't know if, if Alakazam is going to really survive this round. Sweet. Two hit points. Alright, you should have one poke left. Scizora. Oh boy. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go for the stockpile on Gastrodon. I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast onto the Scissor. Now, most likely, I'm probably gonna get hit by Bullet Punch. Oh, it just has Quick Attack. Alright. So now we are down to just the Gastrodon. So the good thing is that I have the stockpile. Uh, I'm hoping that at some point. Um, skull can be used as well. Uh, looks like the dimensions have returned to normal. Probably don't want to go for a stockpile at this point. Let's go for skull. See if maybe we can get a burn. And this is the kind of area where I miss having um What's it called? Earth power. Nice! And we got the burn. Critical hit and a burn. That is fantastic. There we go, guys. That is going to be our first win here. So I'm going to mark that down. <laughs> Perfect.
Alright guys, if you enjoyed the battle there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to post your comments in the comment section below. And as always, hope you guys had a fantastic day there today, and I hope you all take care. Peace!